look at what I created today. I'm gonna catch some gold and diamonds. Oops, I've got a rock here. Oh, let's take it. Oof, this is heavy. Hello and welcome back to another video by Ali at Binduki Studio. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I created Gold Miner Gaming Construct 3. As you can see, this project is very simple, limited uh, events and actions, and uh, this one is perfect and suitable for the construct lovers and uh, everyone who uh, who just started construct and beginners. Okay. Uh, please, uh, if you didn't subscribe my channel, do it. Just do it now and watch my tutorials and videos and like them and uh, support me, okay? Also, you can go to the Dundek.studios uh, tutorials page and uh, get the templates from here. Watch them and get the templates from here, okay? Let's get a start the video. Okay, guys, let's see what we have here. We have several uh, achievable objects like gold, rock, diamond, and TNT and back here. And these achievable objects are included in Fthings family that has two variables. Okay, first one is weight that show us how much is hard to pull and uh, the value that uh, adds to to our S score and uh, reach to the level target okay gold has uh, more valuable valuable than uh, rocks actually and as you can see every one of these has a different value and you can change it and uh, this bag object you can uh, you can change the value it, value of it to something negative look like this and the TNT uh, should be negative because this is TNT man okay all right uh, we have three different text objects this one shows timer shows the uh, added score for the last catched object and this one shows the details of the game for example level score and uh, level target okay let's go in the code okay first thing that I need to mention is uh, we have two options here first thing is uh, making this variable false and when we do it actually we, uh, we start the game as end user and start from level 1 and go to level 2 and uh, go to the end okay but uh, we can make a level from uh, everything we have in the editor by hitting true okay when i make this uh, variable true i'm going to make a level code from my uh, my objects in the scene and these two variables as a level okay as you can see in this group we have uh, several levels these are levels level codes that i generated by uh, making this variable true and go to debug layout and copy this level code and paste this as new level just like this okay I'm going to copy this and go here and paste this in the double quotations mark and I have a new level okay I, I can change uh, the value of target and timer duration for each level that I create and uh, go and change this object size bring these objects and uh, as you can see uh, this is very simple okay so okay guys let me explain how objects do their job okay in the game we have uh, a rope object which is a tile background uh, and has two different behaviors sign and tween sign uh, show us the shows us the uh, sign animation of the rope and the tween does the moving and stretching job okay let me go in here uh, 
at first we set the position of pivot rope and hook and uh, also we make this hook object as child of rope to uh, setting its position uh, at the end of the rope okay the second group we have uh, we set a position of uh, hook when rope rope string is playing okay and uh, when we touch and when it's not game over and level gone uh, visible uh, we're going to make the stretching thing or first moving of rope here and uh, by tween we make the width of rope uh, to something like its width to its width plus uh, 1500 okay and this is the rope first move time that we can change it here here it is okay of first move time which is one second okay now uh, we have rope return that uh, show us when when we should return the rope for example when we when our uh, hook is outside of layout or it's uh, twin finished without catching anything uh, we make it return okay and in the return uh, return function we ha we have two options here and uh, here we say when it's not catching anything the ui is minus one which is uh, which we which means we don't have anything uh, we should return the rope in the def default time which is rope return time and when we have something and the something is f things uh which might be any one of these uh objects here then uh, the rope return time divided by two plus rate of the f things added to this time okay and after returning that this means uh, the rope goes and back to the first place uh, then if we have something we destroy that and add at this uh, at that's a value to the score okay and uh, re-enable the sign of the rope okay and in the catching we have uh, we have explained that uh, here that when hook collided with one of the uh, things objects and uh, when there is nothing catch it we catch it and we set uh, the thing's position to the hook's position and then we pin it to uh, uh, actually change the position of things when hook or rope is uh, returning okay and we call this rope return uh, function to return the rope to its first place and in the target and score uh, we show the level target score here by different colors that I uh, added and uh, if we uh, call this function with uh, value of added score more than one more than zero or less than zero uh, we create a txt added score object which is this that shows the uh, plus added score or, or minus added score uh, depended on which object we uh, catch it okay and this this one is just for show and uh, yeah this is visual thing okay and we have timer when we call this timer uh, when we call this function we start the timer and uh, the timer behavior of txt timer which we have here uh, starts its job and uh, shows the timer and uh, it depends on which number we uh, add here okay and uh, here is for time over when the time is over and we we didn't reach to the 
level target we show game over which is this layer that shows game over score uh, score something and reset button or uh, we reach it uh, to the target and we show level done which is this layer level done score something and go to the next level and uh, yeah here we set the game over text and this is for btn reset function and here we have uh, txt level done text and uh, btn next levels function we're going to the next level and let's go to the to the next group uh, here we we do the creating level job uh, as i explained before when we set it to true uh, we are uh, uh, actually no no when we do it uh, when we set it to false we're gonna create level uh, of uh, objects from the level code that we have here okay the list of objects and uh, values that we have here we make their objects okay and then uh, we start timer and set a score for showing the details and uh, yeah that's it oh of course I need to explain this part uh, we have this group for creating the level code okay when we set this to true we are going to create level code and this one goes and add every uh, needed details to the level code variable and then we we need to copy and paste it in the levels group that's it <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video as you saw that was uh, that was very easy to make and uh, I like that you go and add the uh, details like pause menu loading bar sound effects and everything I taught you in my previous videos and sent to me to review and show them in my videos by the way don't forget to uh, comment me uh, what challenge you like to learn and I will create a video of it okay thank you very much <laughs>